Hi, welcome back to Call Skin RC. So today I just want to do a quick channel update to let you know what's going on with my channel. And I am back making videos. So the videos you've probably seen over the last couple of weeks have probably been recorded before. Uh, the ones you're going to see moving forward from today have been recorded now, basically. There is a few old ones still to go on, but I just want to do a channel update to let you know what's happening with the channel and to let you know where we're going to go from here. So the channel's very much going to be FPV and camera drone related. So I'm going to be view FPV racing drones, micro drones, toothpicks. I'm also going to review transmitters, cameras, and all FPV equipment. I'm going to review motors, flight controllers, and ESCs, etc. On the back, on top of that, I'm also going to do the camera drones. So I'm going to get far more in depth with them than I have before. And when I say camera drones, I don't mean the toy grade ones, I mean the expensive stuff like the DJI's and the, the Autels and the Parrots, the more expensive ones, the Femi, XASE. I'm going to spend far more time on them and get far more involved with them, do far more videos on them, showing different things they can do and stuff like that. And there's also going to be some radio control planes, which I'm into a lot. The radio control planes are going to be more hobby grade, but I have got some toy grade stuff coming up. And they're going to probably have a lot of FPV equipment on them. So they're all coming on the channel shortly. As for the toy grade stuff that I had, I had been reviewing, they'll probably not appear at all now. Because really I haven't got that much interest in them. And to be fair, it's got to a stage where everything's the same. So these loads of these 1080p, 2K, 4K so-called camera drones out. The ones that the, the MJX Bugs 4, the X3 which I reviewed, the SJL... RC F11 Pro, they're all very much the same now and, and there's nothing to distinguish them and to be fair with the price difference between them and a the Femi A3 I don't think there's really any point doing them anymore and to be fair the brush drones that are now I don't see a market for them anymore at all very unstable footage out of them some of them fly really nicely don't get me wrong but to me they're not for me to review anymore there's loads of channels that review them that you'll be able to watch but from, from moving forward myself I'll be definitely moving on to them I'll still do the odd RC car, but it will be the odd RC car. I've got some to review that I haven't done yet. And I probably will get them up on the channel. Um, but there's not any rush for them. So this is what you're going to see moving forward. I've got uh, some I've got a 4K camera drone coming shortly. That probably most of you will have seen before. And I've also got what in my opinion is the best £200 drone you can buy. With a proper free axis gimbal on it far better than the sea fly or anything like that so stay watch stay tuned for that so this is where we're going with the channel i hope you enjoy the new content that i'm bringing out and i just wanted to say massive thanks to all your support and all the kind comments you give me when all the hassle was going on with banggood the hassle still is with banggood but never mind i can't do anything about that now but i just want to thank everybody for the kind comments they put and thanks to the people that have said thank you. welcome back so that's it just want to do a quick video today to let you know what we, where we're going so have a fantastic day. Speak to you soon. Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.